All right, tough guy. You want to play? Trick or treat? What's going on guys, Christian Anna Horror here with another Surviving the Sequel. Today we're talking about Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. You may be asking, why am I doing 5 right now? You know, everybody's kind of talking about 5 right now, you know, because there's this lost footage that's getting found, hopefully, and maybe we'll be able to see this opening sequence that's got all kinds of crazy weird stuff in it, uh, and it's interesting. I want to just tell you guys why I like it, and I want to see if maybe I can sway you guys to just give it another shot and watch it with a new perspective, or just if you haven't really seen it in a long time, if you're not a hardcore Halloween fan and you just looking for some fun movies to watch let's give you guys five reasons why you should check out halloween 5 the revenge of michael myers reason number one daniel harris and donald pleasance are back together this is a duo that you love probably more than jamie lee curtis and donald pleasance if you ask a lot of halloween fans if the first movie isn't their favorite a lot of them like four and four is definitely a fan favorite because of daniel harris and her relationship with donald pleasance's character in the movie as well they're a great duo and they blend well together probably a little bit more than jamie lee Curtis did with Donald Pleasance. That's just my opinion though. So you get to carry on that relationship into Halloween 5. Granted, maybe the dialogue and the story isn't as pure and as nice as Halloween 4 is, but if you want to worry about caring about the characters in this movie, it's not hard with those two. Obviously, seeing Donald Pleasance back is always a plus. We love his character of Dr. Loomis. And Jamie Lloyd, played by Daniel Harris, is back. And it's just great to see them together again. Michael's coming after Jamie and Donald Pleasance has to stop Michael once again. So that's something I really like about Halloween 5. It's also the last Halloween film that has Jamie Lloyd being portrayed by Daniel Harris. The second reason you guys need to check out Halloween 5 is the mask man you know the mask is a really weird subject and I, I try to understand everybody's point of view but i gotta be honest i have a little bit of trouble with this one i think the mask for halloween 5 is the freakiest thing i've ever seen it looks so mean and aggressive sure it's not the mask from the original but that's the original movie this is halloween 5 you know it's it's funny how it's okay for jason to change looks and nobody really gets upset about that but with halloween people lose their minds over it with that being said i love the mask in halloween 5 michael has this aggressive look it's almost like a like a devil if you were gonna be locked in a room with a michael like for some reason i would much rather have like the michael from part one or part two rather than the michael from part five because that mask is so intimidating that's the word to describe it is intimidation when you see that michael and that mask it's just like you know exactly what he's here to do and it's pretty freaky and it looks really good on screen so i really like the mask from halloween five that's a personal choice for me but i think a lot of you out there may like the mask as well and definitely a cool aspect of the film that kind of separates it from everything else the third reason you guys need to check out halloween five is you ready the Man in Black. I'm a big, big fan of the Thorn trilogy, as it were. I'm a big fan of mystery. You know, it's always good to have a little bit of mystery in a horror movie. And, you know, one thing I really like about Halloween 5 is, like, you had no idea who this guy was, and that just made him really creepy. It's like, he gets off this bus, he shows up, you don't see his face, but you know this guy is bad news. I don't know if it's because he's dressed strictly in black, if it's those really cool boots he had on, or what, but the Man in Black is a really cool element that led on to what was going to happen in Halloween. Halloween 6 and now that we have a producer's cut of Halloween 6 it kind of makes sense and now I even appreciate the man in black so much more in Halloween 5. I can imagine back in the day it'd be like whoa what is going on and there wasn't much payoff when you see it because they don't really have too much explanation whatsoever of the man in black in Halloween 5 but a little mystery is good so looking back on it that's one thing I'm glad that was in Halloween 5 was the man in black. The fourth reason you guys need to check out this movie and probably my favorite reason is the laundry shoot scene. That has got to be one of the most intense scenes in the Halloween franchise when Danielle Harris's character is trying to get away from Michael and her performance is still really good. The way Danielle was able to portray her just genuine fear with saying, please God, don't let me fall. Like if you ever want to feel for a little girl and for her life, this movie does that no holds barred. Michael is stabbing through the laundry chute going higher and higher and this poor girl has to try to climb up out of there. It is it is high tension and I would dare say it's the best scene of the movie. If you need one reason really to go watch this movie then the laundry chute scene is it. It is pure terrifying. And the fifth reason you guys need to check out Halloween 5 is because at its heart 
It is just a fun little B-horror movie. Look, it's Halloween 5. It's a low budget. It was made quickly. It has this low budget B-movie feel. And that's kind of like unique in its sense when it pertains to being in the Halloween franchise. Every movie in the Halloween franchise has its distinct feel. And the one thing I like about Halloween 5 is it does have that low budget get with your buddies, get some popcorn, and just laugh feel. Sure, it's got some really ridiculous stuff in it. As we all know, when the cops show up on the movie, they actually have bells and horns that woo that go off when they say something silly that is so out of a, a straight to video B horror movie and while a lot of hardcore Halloween fans really just can't stand it I just laugh at it I accept it for what it is and it just makes me laugh so when you're going through the franchise you're gonna get different layers of feel and vibes from these movies and I like that I like that they're not exactly the same thing it's also important to know that this is a part five in a horror franchise so I'm not saying just forgive it for all its sins but lighten up a little bit have fun with Halloween 5 is all I'm saying. The one thing that is kept serious in this movie though is Michael. He's never made fun of or never becomes a joke. And that's what I really like about this movie still. It can make me laugh and giggle at the dumb stuff, but it also makes Michael still a threat, which is always important in a horror movie. So there's five reasons I want you guys to check out Halloween 5. Look, it's fun, it's silly, and they were trying to get this movie done really quick. But all in all, Halloween 5 is a fun little B-horror movie to me. Like I said, it's not perfect, it's far from perfect, but it's got its fun little charm to it, and we all love Cookie Woman. So hopefully we'll see this unearthed footage from Halloween 5. I know I'm really interested in it as a Halloween fan. I wouldn't call myself a Halloween fanatic. I love it, don't get me wrong, I can quote the movie's chapter and verse. I'm a horror movie fan at my core. And slasher movies in particular, I think a lot of us here are just big fans of slasher movies. But Halloween Halloween 5 is one I always kind of just tip my hat off to in appreciation. I just like it. So there we go, guys. That's five reasons you guys need to watch Halloween 5. Please be sure to like this video. Drop a comment below. Tell me a sequel you'd like me to review. Please ding the bell. That way you never miss an upload. Until next time, this is Christian Hannah Har saying, Cookie Woman.